In the month of May, electric car sales in China have grown by 30%. But here's the thing. In the month of January, February, March, April, all four months put together, electric car sales have grown worldwide by 30%. Whenever you hear these um, these sound bites from car companies like Porsche, Porsche recently, electric cars have um, doomed us essentially. Really, the truth is, I mean, Honda is recently, Honda said that they're going to cancel their $13 billion EV investment. The truth is, it's not because EVs aren't selling. As you can see, the numbers prove otherwise. It's because they simply can't compete. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans, and I'll be at the Melbourne EV Auto Show on the 27th, 28th, and 29th of June. I'll put a link in the description. I'd personally love to see you there and even catch up. Despite the uncertainty, created by newly imposed tariffs in the United States, uh, sales of electric vehicles are still surging. EVs and plug-in hybrids, particularly EVs, have been flying off the lots all around the world in record numbers. The media might be telling you otherwise, but that is simply the statistical facts that we're being presented with here. It's not just North America, it's China, more particularly, and also it's Europe as well. Now, those three markets make up about 85% of the global automotive industry. Last month, global sales of EVs and plug-in hybrids already went over 4.1 million through the first three months of the year. Now we're seeing a total number of 5.6 million units from the first four months. And in fact, that means the world is actually on track to sell around 22 million electric cars this year. So numbers came out recently from a bunch of different reports saying 20 million. It's not actually accurate because China, the biggest EV market in the world, they'll sell twice as many EVs in the final quarter of this year because their car market explodes every year in the last three months of the year. It's much, much bigger than the first three months of the year, or the first four. Really, we're likely to see around 22 million units sold. And that would represent probably approximately 26% of all cars sold worldwide, maybe just a bit more than that. April alone saw 1.5 million electrified vehicles sold, marking a 30% increase compared to the same month last year. Continuing to lead the charge, though, is China. A total of 3.3 million EVs and hybrids, well, plug-in hybrids, most of them, though, being fully electric, have been sold this year, representing a 35% jump from last year. Sales slipped 9% in April compared to the month prior, but so far, in the month of May, they're up a further 30%. The US and China recently announced a reduction in tariffs. Uh, this has only just been announced so within the last week, so it hasn't really made any effect on what's happening now. But it might be a big positive. If the US and China can agree to this sort of ceasefire, you might call it, this might actually help with positive customer sentiment. This move primarily affects parts in the automotive industry, uh, but that said, I still think it could be a, a positive for EV sales this year. North America has seen only 600,000 vehicles sold so far this year, which was still a 5% increase from last year. Apparently, EV sales in Mexico have nearly doubled year to date. One good reason for that, an explosion of the sales of Chinese electric cars in the country. There's no real tariffs on EVs from China or vehicles from China, and therefore, they've been enormously popular and they're disrupting Ford and General Motors. So you can see here the numbers, guys. 35% for China this year. Europe up 25%. North America really letting the team down here, I think, a bit. Up only 5%. The rest of the world, though, up 37%. So you would think the rest of the world would be the numbers would be a little less than that. That's what I would have thought, but it's actually not. It's even better than China, the rest of the world combined. After a rough 2024 for plug-in hybrid sales in Europe and EVs as well, things are certainly looking much better. In the first four months, sales have increased by 25%, reaching 1.2 million vehicles. However, EVs have grown significantly faster than plug-in hybrids. Electric car sales have grown by 29% in Europe, whereas plug-in hybrids are up only 16%. Germany, up 42%. Italy, up 56%. Spain, up a staggering 57%. And the UK, up 32%. 
that's some pretty big, pretty big uh, improvements compared to last year. Charles Lester from Row Motion said this, ongoing tariff negotiations are dominating talk in the electric vehicle industry, but quietly, domestic manufacturers in China and in Europe continue to perform well and they're growing their market share. So as you can see, these numbers are fantastic. If you have someone who thinks electric car sales are not doing well, if they're a big fan of Toyota and they're believing that Toyota CEO is right, EV sales will never pass 30% worldwide ever in the history of the planet, which is what he claimed, maybe share this video with them. If you have a friend who is anti-EV, maybe also share the video with them. And um, you can see them uh, let off some steam, get angry. I think this news is really, really good. And it's really, for me personally, Seeing more electric cars on the roads is one thing because I know that's going to be making the air cleaner to breathe. We know in cities where EVs are starting to take over, there's some cities in Norway and China where electric cars now make up the majority of cars being driven. And in those places, the air is so much cleaner to breathe. You can, you can notice it instantly. It's amazing. And it's also much, much quieter in those places as well. Huge improvements for electrification. I love the fact that you can also charge them with solar. There's just so many, so many positives and benefits. Let me know your feelings about this in the comments. Bye-bye. Electric car sales in 2025 have skyrocketed and really that's maybe even understating things. Strangely, the media narrative that EV sales are plummeting has completely disappeared. I don't know why, because EV sales have never plummeted. It's all been completely fake news. I kind of wonder to myself if they think, you know, the media think, maybe the general public are now saying, we can't trust these idiots anymore. We're not going to read anything they say if they keep on lying to us. So now they're actually just staying quiet. Anyhow, here are the numbers on which countries or which regions are really killing it with EV sales this year. And to be honest, they're pretty much all of them. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters, YouTube members. Guys, I really want to sincerely thank you for your support. And if you'd like to become a member on either of those platforms, I'll put a link in the description. EV sales are surging globally. Now, it's true the media have said this is happening. Some small numbers of the media have recognized this, very small at the same time, though, they're saying things like this. Here's a headline from Car Scoops. EV sales are surging globally, but a dark cloud is gathering. Ooh, dark cloud. China continues to dominate the EV and hybrid markets, accounting for over half of all global sales. Mm -hmm.